hello friends in this video we will discuss the staging of cervix ca cervix in detail and uh, also simply now uh, let's start with this thing mm, yes okay now the cervix cervical staging is very important as the there is frequently asked question around what kind of what this uh, stage of this cervical cancer okay so this kind of questions are very frequent so we are going to learn this thing very quickly now i want you to learn this figure first this is the uterus this is the cervix this is the vagina upper one third middle one third lower one third upper one third middle one third lower one third okay now this is the lateral pelvic wall this is the parametrium and where the uh, ureters are going on ureters goes by this uh, this site okay now stage one of ca cervix is what that the cervix is confined to the sorry the cancer is confined to the cervix so cancer is not beyond the cervix and uterus so when we say cervix we also consider uterus as a part of uh, the whole thing okay the whole organ that is uterus and cervix is a part of it so we take uterus as the same as a cervix here so the cancer strictly confined to the uterus and the cervix not beyond the uterus or cervix okay now what is the importance of stage one is its subtypes because the subtypes of uh, stage one will make us to decide what kind of management we should prefer in that particular stage so it's very important to understand learn and remember also what is a stage one stage one is a cancer confined to the uterus now we will divide this this stage one according to the depth invasion now what is a depth invasion if you see that this is the surf, uh, surface of the cervix end block surface of the cervix this thing is the epithelium here and then comes the basement membrane okay now by definition ca cervix is what breach of basement membrane now how much depth they involved is important for example if they involve 3 mm up to 3 mm more than 3 to 5 mm and more than 5 mm so it is important now stage 1 uh, a stage 1 a means it is a microscopic invasion microscopic cs cervix of depth invasion less than 5 mm remember less than 5 mm it is a microscopic we cannot see this cancer with our naked eye so stage 1 a means is a microscopic invasion less than 5 mm now it's again divided into stage 1 a1 and a2 with the help of depth invasion that less than 3 mm invasion is considered as a stage 1 a1 and stage 1 a2 means the depth is more than or equal to 3 mm to less than 5 mm now if the depth comes to 5 mm and equal and more than to 5 mm then the stage becomes the b now again divided into three stages according to the size of tumor because this is now becomes the macroscopic tumor so we can have to uh, differentiate between the sizes stage 1 b1 means the size is less than 2 cm the tumor size i am talking about the greatest dimension of tumor should be less than 2 cm for uh, criteria of 1b1 1b2 means more than 2 
equal and more than 2 to less than 4 centimeter less than 4 centimeter and stage 1 b3 means equal to or more than 4 centimeter so if they say that, that there is a 4 centimeter of mass so the stage becomes 1 b3 okay if they say that is a, a mass of 3 centimeter then it becomes a stage 1 b2 and if they say the mass is of 1 centimeter then it becomes a stage 1 b1 so this is how we classify this thing this is again more than 5 mm of invasion is there okay now comes to stage 2 stage 2 means that the cervix the carcinoma is beyond the uterus and cervix okay not confined to uterus and cervix it is beyond that and what are the beyond not more than lower one third of vagina see there are limitations in stage 2 the carcinoma has been spread but there are some limitations they have not reached to the pelvic wall lateral pelvic wall and lower one third vagina so lower one third vagina and lateral pelvic wall involvement will come into stage 3 not 2 so here if the figure if you see this is the uterus is involved here then involved is one upper one third of vagina middle one third of vagina the parametrium is also involved but not up to lateral pelvic wall okay now this stage that means stage number two is divided again into a and b so stage one a means upper two third of vagina is involved maybe one third or two third but not lower one third vagina okay now stage 1a1 1 means again divided on the basis of size of the tumor greatest dimension less than 4 centimeter 1 2a1 more than 4 centimeter 2a2 2. now comes the stage number 2b that says that parametrial invasion is there now my friends it's very important once the cervical cancer has involved parametrium then we have considered that this stage is now the higher stages of CA cervix and now the management will be different before 2B the management would be surgery surgical removal but after 2B now the surgery has less importance but we will prefer chemo radiation now let's come to stage number 3 stage number three means the cancer spread beyond the uterus it also involves lateral pelvic wall all parametrium all the vagina including lower one third of vagina also involved so it becomes a stage number three and also involvement of lymph nodes that is pelvic and paraortic lymph node it can also call nephrohydronephrosis because it involves the ureter and it actually blocks the ureter so that eventually hydronephrosis develops now let's go to stage uh, different subtypes stage 3 a means involvement of lower one third of vagina stage 3 b means extension to the lateral pelvic wall and hydronephrosis if we find there is a hydronephrosis or because of the hydronephrosis small atrophic kidneys then it will become the stage 3 b if it involves only lower one third of vagina it becomes stage 3 a if it be uh, involving the lymph node biopsy of the lymph node or on CT scan so we will designate the number C or P what is C when we see the uh, uh, we have evidence of lymph node involvement on CT scan or when we have evidence of lymph node involvement on biopsy by pathologist so we will designate this thing so stage 3 C one means pelvic node is in fall stage 3 c b means 
थ्री सी टू मीन्स पेरा आरोटिक लिम्फ नोट इन्वॉल्वमेंट सो इट्स इजी नाउ वॉट इज स्टेज थ्री इट्स बी ऑन द यूट्रस एंड सर्विक्स एंड रीचिंग अप टू द लेट्रल पेल्विक वॉल एंड अप लोअर वन थर्ड ऑफ वजाइना एंड ऑल्सो इन्वॉल्विंग द पेल्विक एंड पेरा आरोटिक लिम्फ नोट नाउ कम टू स्टेज फोर दैट मीन द Pel uh, the CS cervix has extended beyond the true pelvis. It may involve the adjacent organs like bladder and rectum, or it may involve distant organs by hematological spread like lungs, brain, etc. So, what is a stage four A? Adjacent organs are involved. What is stage two B? Distant organs are involved. so this is the staging of ca cervix thank you